All right, so this term virtual family office has become more and more common in the last couple years. So what I thought would be interesting is to share with you what is the process that we take experts through in order to get on our virtual family office and what's that due diligence actually look like? If we haven't met, my name is Anthony Anderson, CEO of a company called Elite Resource Team. Since 2014, we've been training advisors and CPAs how to offer more proactive and holistic planning and leverage a virtual family office. Now, this virtual family office I'm gonna to speak to you a little bit about today, 54 plus experts currently, but it's taken us 10 plus years to build that VFO and all of those relationships. So in this video, I thought it'd be helpful, first of all, to tell you what's the due diligence process now that we lead them through, so you can kind of mirror that if you're looking at building your own, what are some of the mistakes we've made in the past, so hopefully you can skip those, save yourself a little bit of time and headache, and then lastly, I'll just turn off this camera, I'll do a screen share where we jump in, I'll show you exactly what, how we like save our VFO experts on a, on a tech platform, like what's the photos, their bios, their client process, what makes them better than the competition, and where does all that live? So ultimately at the end of the day, whether it's on your laptop or your phone, you have access to them almost like if you play any type of fantasy sports, football or basketball, you know how you have all the stats and the photos and all that jazz on your fantasy players? and that helps you to make your fantasy team that are gonna win the game. This is the same thing that we have, so I'll show you exactly what that looks like as well. So let's jump in. Due diligence on VFO experts. The first one is when we get introduced to somebody, we interview. We jump on a Zoom and we ask them a little bit about collaboration, their mindset. Ultimately, do we vibe? Is there a good fit there with the culture that our VFO has established? The next is we do a little due diligence behind the scenes on what are the designations. Do they validate the expertise that this individual has. Third is history. We do a little bit of a Google research. You know, what's the good, the bad, the ugly on their track record? Did they just jump into this space because it's a fresh opportunity? Or have they literally been in this space for 10 plus years and clearly established themselves as an A player in that game? Next is testimonials. So we're either going to read client testimonials with the full client name so we know they're valid, or we're actually gonna ask for introductions to clients so we can interview the clients to hear about that process. Next, we're gonna interview other experts in that space. So let's use the example of an employee retention credit. You know, that's a, a newer opportunity. A lot of people jumped in that pool. I get probably voicemails every week from some company trying to get us to exercise or take advantage of the employee retention credit. Now, did they just jump in? or they've been doing tax credits for 10 or 15 years and now this is just one more that they're adding to their quiver. Other experts in that space are gonna tell us that. If I reach out to somebody that's been doing R&D tax credits and I ask them about this individual, they're gonna be able to tell me whether, oh yeah, they're, they're an A player, we're in the space together, or they're gonna say, never heard of that person, I think they're just you know, jumping into a fresh opportunity. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna fill your VFO with a bunch of people that are just like jumping in because it's a flashy opportunity of the moment. So other experts, and then we sign a formal agreement. Obviously uh, lay out our expectations of, of one another. What's the process? How are we protected? If there is an issue, what happens to the client information? What happens to the revenue share? Is there a revenue share agreement? What is that percentage? How often is it being revisited? So that's the current process we take our VFO experts through. All of that was developed as a result of making a lot of mistakes through the process, not having formal agreements, not having revenue share, where somebody else is making 100 grand and we're making nothing. You know, that's not, that's not a win-win. Um, we have you know, made mistakes where we, in the past, didn't look at somebody's history and then a client asks about it. It's like, oh, shoot, didn't know about that. And then you're scrambling to try to kind of make up or, or, or catch up. So if you stick to that type of process, and I will share a link below this video to uh, our actual due diligence outline so you can see exactly what this is in a little more detail. Stick to that process, you're gonna have better experts in your VFO, or you're gonna add better experts, if you're working with us already, to our VFO, so you have your own local relationships. And then let's go ahead and get off this camera, jump into a screen share, and I'll show you exactly what our VFO fantasy team kind of looks like. All right, so as I said, I'd like to just jump into my screen here and show you a couple different things behind the scenes to help, I think, make it real in terms of what I'm talking about with not only the due diligence of experts in the virtual family office, but like where they live. When I talked about your, your dream team or your fantasy team, like if you play fantasy football or fantasy baseball, whatever it is, you get to create your own team. 
with all of these different professionals. That's exactly what a virtual family office is if you work with a group that's actually organized all of these different experts. So this is the due diligence checklist that I roughly went over on the whiteboard. I'm gonna include a link to this document so you can download it if you want any of this information, whether you're trying to create your own team or maybe you're supplementing a team that we work with, you know, this is helpful information, especially if you're an advisor watching and a CPA or a client says like, so these experts on your team, like, how do I actually know they're, they're, they're good, they're, they're, they're validated? Like what, what research did you do on them? Ah, well, here's our process, okay? So I'll include this Word document in the description below the YouTube video. In addition to that, I wanted to show you kind of the engine behind the scenes. Like just pull back the curtain for you a little bit. This is what we call a proactive planning platform. This is our own technology. We built this. We have a CTO that leads a team of a couple programmers. And I'm specifically going to focus on the experts in the virtual family office. This whole engine here is designed to allow advisors and accountants that are working with our company essentially a, a way to do a better job of leading clients through a diagnostic that not only uncovers financial planning opportunities but also things like tax planning estate planning business planning you know risk mitigation etc and then the questions that the clients answer it actually triggers algorithms and the algorithms will point to experts in the virtual family office. So you sit down with a client, you lead through this questionnaire, the information they give you, it automatically using our algorithms identifies potential planning opportunities that are typically outside of a normal advisor's area of expertise. And they fall within these five areas of again, what I call the virtual family office. That would be the tax planning, risk mitigation, wealth management, legal services, and business advisory. So we have experts, over 50 experts in our virtual family office in all five of these areas. Let me show you exactly what I mean when I say that. So here is a long list of all of the experts, their names and their areas. And you could either search by somebody's name. Let's say, for example, you heard me talk about Todd Steinberg. He's a mergers and acquisition specialist. I've done interviews with him on our YouTube channels. And so you could go in here and search Todd. Oh, perfect. Here's a photo of Todd. Here is his bio, and then there are some details and benefits. Let's say, for example, to show you the details and benefits, you get a call from a client that owns commercial real estate, and they heard about cost segregation, right? So you go, cost segregation. Never had to work with a cost sec expert before. Do I have somebody in my virtual family office? Yes, I do. Here's Joel Grushkin. Here's Joel's bio, where you can validate the fact that Joel is a true expert in this area. There's his details and benefits that talk about the strategy, the client requirements, ideal client description, summary and benefits, how to get started with a client, what makes Joel Grushkin and his company, cost segregation initiatives, better than the competition, and what is the revenue share? So with every single expert, at least in our virtual family office, what we do is we negotiate a revenue share with them. So any business that an advisor or an accountant closes with them that comes from our community, they are going to share a percent of the revenue back with the advisor or accountant. Joel's circumstance, it happens to be 10%. If for some reason an advisor isn't comfortable taking a revenue share or isn't allowed to from their BD or their RIA compliance, you just have that revenue share go to the CPA. Then the CPA banks that up over a quarter. And then once a quarter, the CPA throws a client appreciation event where of course they have it sponsored by you or you at least get to attend and you get to meet and greet the clients. Maybe the two of you do a 10 minute presentation together, which of course we have templated out. Um, so that is the details and benefits. And then the other thing that's I think pretty cool is we give the advisors and accountants, at least that work with our virtual family office an ability to rate all of the experts from zero to five stars. Just think of Amazon, right? Anytime anybody is less than three and a half stars, we reach out and we investigate why that is. We expect it to always be at four or five stars, but you get to log in here and see, oh, they have a five out of five stars. And if there are comments that past advisors or accountants have made, you can read about the comments of working with that expert. So that's a little bit about what the experts look like, the different areas of expertise they, they specialize in, whether you want to search by the name or the area. And then I think something that's really makes this real when I talked about the fantasy team, like fantasy football, how do you select the players on your team? 
see this little blue check box over here called enable. Let's say, for example, you need somebody who does business financing. You need somebody who does employee benefits. But you already have somebody that does, let's look for another area, advanced qualified plans. Okay, so you don't want Bruce Gendine on your team for advanced qualified plans. You got somebody you love. You've been working with them for 15 years. Your brother-in-law is in that space. Your wife is in it. Your husband is in that space. Whatever it is, you don't want them. It doesn't matter. All you do is you check that little blue box, and immediately they're off your team. Now, what do I mean by that? They're off your team. Well, if you noticed up here, I'm using this demo account. It's called Forward Advisory. That's an example of somebody that, at least in our circumstance, we would work with. Now, you come over to ah the Forward Advisory website. All right, I'll show you this is standard website. You're welcome to look at this if you want, forward-advisory.com. But go under team, and now we go to virtual family office. And this is what really makes it real for the clients, all of the names and the experts of each of these different VFO specialists that I just went through. So they can see exactly who somebody is, what their bio is. And as soon as you remove them from our back engine by checking off the blue checkbox, they will no longer show up on the website. There's an API connection between an advisor's or an accountant's website and this back engine that feeds all of the experts. So all you need to do is log in here and choose your dream team once. All of the experts you want, they push onto the website. Bada bing, bada boom, you got your dream team. So um, I don't know, was this interesting? I, I thought this might be interesting or helpful for a couple of advisors or accountants out there that are like trying to get their head around what is a virtual family office? How do you actually take something and make it real, make it tangible, right? This is obviously an interesting idea and it's gained popularity, but how does this help me actually communicate the, the breadth and the depth of my team, my ability to deliver advanced planning services, to attract higher net worth clients, to attract successful business owners? And the way you do that is by showing Nobody wants just one advisor. And then they have this hodgepodge of advisors where I've got my CPA over here, my attorney over there, my advisor over here, my PNC specialist over there. Like, but none of them talk, none of them communicate. Nobody wants that anymore. Everybody wants efficiency. Our entire economy is built on efficiency. Efficiency means one point of contact and all of the professionals collaborate behind the scenes. You should be the point of contact for your clients. That makes you incredibly sticky and incredibly valuable, and you have a unique value proposition unlike anything that they're going to get elsewhere in the marketplace. So that's enough of my soapbox. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's the YouTube algorithms know that people enjoy this content. Also, if you have any comments, any feedback, any questions, please just type below this video and let me know what they are. Uh, if you have any requests for future videos or additional information, let me know. I'd be happy to film them. That's it for today. I hope you found this helpful.